Uh, let's talk about the Clippers. Clippers fans may have been sad, too, after the way their season ended. Can they do the Arthur Blank thing? <laughs> um, the battle for L.A. already heating up again for next season after a stellar postseason in which he helped the Lakers win a championship. Rajon Rondo expected to turn down his player option and test the free agent market. Now, the Lakers are, of course, interested in re-signing him. But according to Mark Stein of the New York Times, the Clippers have interest in signing Rondo as well. Mm -hmm. We all know the nickname Playoff Rondo by now. Mm. But let me just say it. It is a real thing. Increases his stats in scoring, assists, field goal percentage, three-point percentage in the playoffs consistently. You, of course, have to take regular season Rondo with playoff Rondo if you sign him. But he definitely had his moments during this regular season, too. You have been calling for the Clippers to make an offer to him on this show for a month, Perk. Why do you think he – do a little lobbying. If you were going to lobby your good friend, what? Rajon Rondo, why do you think this is a good fit for him? Rachel, listen, Steve Ballmer and Lawrence Frank, if you knew better, you'd do better. You'll be at Rondo's front door. The Clippers are missing a leader, okay? Kawhi Leonard is not a leader. He's a hell of a basketball player, but he's not a leader. When you look well, at him when he played with leader. the Raptors, Kyle Lowry was the leader. He, he was the vocal leader. Mm -hmm. And yeah. when I looked at the bubble and I watched the Clippers play, Kawhi Leonard had to do too much. He's... Doc Rivers moved him to the point guard, and that's not Kawhi's style. You need a guy like Rajon Rondo, who's the ultimate floor general, that could get guys into their spots. He puts the key in guys' back. We have that saying in the locker room, when you have a leader that could put that key in the guy back, like especially Paul George, and get the best out of him, be able to run sets for him, call sets for him on the court to get him going, they need Rajon Rondo like old people need soft shoes. <laughs> soft shoes? What? <laughs> Sometimes I don't get these perkisms. Sometimes I'm not get that one. That's excellent. I won't lie. But I, I'm going to say this. Perk's absolutely right. <laughs> you know, usually when we talk about... You see what happens when you get old. You're going to need soft shoes, too. What do you mean when I get old? I'm old right now. <laughs> when were you born? What decade? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, so the, 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 when we talk about vet leadership, teams leading, needing vet leadership, Usually we're talking about young teams, right? Mm -hmm. But the Clippers needed vet leadership. That collapse happened because they didn't have a Udonis Haslam to tell them to get their heads out of their you-know-wheres and, and hunker down mm -hmm. a business. And Rondo is that kind of vet. That's exactly what they need. Because like Perk said, Kawhi is a lead-by-example guy, and that's great, but sometimes you need a little bit more than that. And it needs to come from a place of authority and a place of respect. No disrespect to Paul George, but you can't play the way he's played and then get up and talk uh, because people don't want to hear from him. And so Rondo, as a guy who's been there and done that in several places now, that's the kind of voice that resonates. But then there's a basketball reasoning, and Perk talked about it as well. He's a point guard. Yeah. This team does not have a pure point guard. It was one of the worst passing teams. They ISO a lot. He's a guy that could get them some easier buckets just from a basketball standpoint. So, Rondo to the Clippers, that's a match made in heaven as far as I'm concerned. I'm really interested, though, if this turns into a bidding war because mm. with the Lakers, they have certainly seen the value of Rajan in a playoff and final situation. And Anthony Davis specifically told me before the NBA Finals started this year, when he got traded to Los Angeles, the first person he called mm -hmm. was Rajon Rondo, saying, I need you on this team next year. The comfort level mm -hmm. with Rondo is off the charts with Anthony Davis. And remember, when AD hit what is probably still the biggest single shot of his life, right, that shot, uh, the go-ahead three-pointer, right, where he shouts Kobe at the end in the, in the game against Denver, guess who got him the ball, mm. right, at a time where he asked to check himself back into the game just for that purpose and make the right basketball play when everyone else was expecting the ball to go to LeBron James. I think there's high value for Rondo on the Lakers, and I expect to see a little bit of money thrown around on both sides. We'll have to see who wins. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.